Hey, hey, Black Friday about over. Welcome to a new edition of Rhino Reviews. I got a new um, Asian kitchen and Lugolf to try. But first, I'm going to go over this week's matchups. It's rivalry weekend. First off, Ohio State, Michigan. Everybody thinks Ohio State's, you know, head and shoulders above everybody else. They've blown away the competition. Didn't really blow Penn State away, and I think Penn State is not as good as people think. So, um, Ohio State is favored by nine. I'm a gamble man. Ohio State, better. Michigan's offense, not good. It's going to be close. But if I'm betting, I take Ohio State, 24-14, cover by one, lock it up. Take the Buckeyes. Second big game on the docket, Georgia, Georgia Tech. Not a real big game unless you're in the state of Georgia. Not very Georgia Tech's not very good. You know, they've they've won a couple games, but they got a new system, a new coach, and they're just trying to work through things. I, I don't think they'll, you know, stand a chance of winning this game, but Georgia's offense is struggle. The defense is really good, but the offense is struggle. I think this is an ugly game. Georgia, Georgia wins comfortably, but it's more like 31 to 10. They don't cover the spread. I take uh, Georgia Tech getting 28 right here. Number three on the docket, Clemson. Clemson's sitting right there in the number three spot, went out, they're in. You know, they'll play the number two seed, whoever that is right now. It looks like LSU. Clemson is, is clicking on all cylinders since being left out. They put the foot on the accelerator and, and, and really blown teams out. Scored 42 points in, I think, seven games in a row. I expect that to continue. South Carolina's defense isn't much on the back end. And other than Javon Kinlaw and Sherrod Green, a couple other guys, nobody on the defense has really played all that well. Um, it reminds me of the Clemson game, Charlie Whitehurst's last Clemson game. I don't know if that's our last game at, at Clemson um, against South Carolina. I guess that might have been 2003, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I expect Clemson to score 52, 55 points. I expect South Carolina to score anywhere from 10 to 17. So if you got you got the line around 27, 28, take the Tigers. It'll be 28 nothing early, and I expect even with Chase Bryson and, and the backups in there, they'll score two or three more times. So. 55-17, Tigers, bet big. Next game on the docket, Wisconsin-Minnesota, I don't care. About any Big Ten football, about 15 minutes in, I'm turning it because I'm either I'm asleep. So Minnesota wins a close game, 16-13, who cares. Um, Alabama-Auburn, a lot of people think without two, Alabama doesn't have a chance. Matt Jones' kid is supposed to be pretty good. Everything I've read about him, is he grades out similar to Tua, maybe as good a passer. We're going to find out tomorrow. Auburn does have a defense. They don't have much of an offense, and, and Bo Nix isn't ready. You know, they're they, they struggling a little bit offensively. Gus Malzahn has had some struggles back there at quarterback since Cam Newton was there back in the day. So uh, I don't think they'll contend offensively unless he finds some weakness in there. Alabama hasn't been the greatest on defense, which is, you know, normally – uh, Nick Saban's calling card. Either way, I think Alabama pulls away late. 31-21 roll tide. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, Notre Dame beats Stanford. Uh, LSU takes a uh, I think that's a high-scoring game. Uh, LSU's secondary is terrible. So I think that you know LSU will probably score 45, but I think they'll give up about 28. So... Over and under on that, 64. I take it. Um, I wouldn't bet on the game. LSU's going to win the game, but by 17, I don't know. Utah can clinch their spot um, in the Pac-12 championship here. They play in Colorado. They'll blow the doors off. And then Florida, Florida State. Florida State, no coach. Florida with a lot of pride and everything to play for. 18-point spread. I think they'll win. I think they'll win 38 to uh, 38 to 20, they'll cover that spread. Um, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. Mm. Oklahoma's favored by 13 and a half. I'll take Oklahoma State. Oklahoma could have lost four games this year. All this Jalen Hurts talk and all this other mess, he turns the ball over. I mean, he is dynamic in the running game, but 
you shouldn't have to depend on that if you're Oklahoma. Uh, Oklahoma State covers 13 and a half. I think that's it. So, for the most part, tomorrow, take Ohio State, take Georgia Tech, take Clemson, and take Alabama. That's top four. Anyway, on to the food review. Went to this little place called Goji Asia Kitchen. It's right beside the Food Lion and Lugol. It's where Little China used to be. It says... Thai, Chinese, and Japanese. Um, open 11 to 9 every day, um, except Sunday. Not open on Sunday. Um, so right there between Fu Lion and Little Caesars right there in the middle. Uh, Thai, Chinese, and Japanese. So first up on the docket, I got the uh, Mu Ga Mu Gai Ga Pan. You see this? And I made a mistake and got white rice. White, getting white rice is like getting a baked potato with no butter or getting a, a grits with no salt. I don't know why I got white rice. But I did, and we got to deal with it. Should have got some kind of fried rice. Mugu Gai Pan. Now, on this menu, they got all kind of fried rice and soups. They got chicken, beef, shrimp, pork, healthy menu, Asian specials, American specials, which is really... Uh, chicken wings and fish sticks. I've never seen fish sticks on the menu. Then they got dinner specials, lunch and dinner specials. Um, lunch from 11 to 3 comes with a drink. Dinner comes with an egg roll, um, pepper steak, sesame chicken, Mongolian chicken, hibachi chicken. They got different kind of Asian noodles, lo mein. But anyway, I got two different. I got two different um, entrees here. I got the number 26, which is the Mu. Goo guy pan. It's, chick it's a chicken dish. You can see. Got chicken, mushrooms, um, cucumbers, carrots. Good flavor. Hurt my feelings as it's on white rice. Put your chicken. It's hot. Move, move, guy, pan. Move, move, guy, pan. I might go on his name that. Ooh. Hot. Let's try one of these cucumbers slash pickles. Cucumber. Zucchini. Zucchini. What about to say? Don't taste like either. Zucchini, that's good. Got mushrooms, big chunks of onions. Rice. Mugu Gai Pan. Not bad. I know a lot of you probably like stuff like that. It's light. A lot of vegetables, white meat chicken, uh, mushrooms, zucchini, carrots. Good flavor. I would recommend, of course, getting fried rice. You know, I just don't like white rice. It don't really add anything to the flavor, so, you know. Maybe throw some soy sauce or hot mustard in that sucker. But, to be honest, chicken and zucchini, onions, mushrooms, got good good taste. And the Moo Guy, Goo Guy Pan sauce. Secondly, I got number 34. Your pepper steak. You know what pepper steak is. It's, it's always on the menu at the at the buffet. Uh, thin cut. Little pieces of pepper steak. Um, lots of onions and peppers cooked in a in a sauce. Really good. It's hot, fresh. I wish I had some good rice. Onions are cooked into flavor. Chop these green peppers up real quick. Not cooked as much as I like. Still kind of tough. Not bad. Um, both of these dishes, this and this, both of them. 
uh, about six ninety five. I paid thirteen dollars for two meals, and then they came with the, the entree and the cup of rice. So I mean, two people, two adults can eat for for thirteen bucks. You can get two egg rolls for two dollars. So fifteen bucks, you can get a meal with the egg roll. Can't be that. I mean, they got pork egg rolls, chicken egg rolls, spring rolls. And then, of course, you know, they got wontons. They even got the sugar donuts that everybody loves on the Chinese buffet. Uh, they can get 10 for, for $3.95. So, wonton soup, egg drop soup. So, I'm not blown away with this. I mean, it's pretty basic. It's pretty much like all the places, all the panda gardens and dragon chambers and everything else that I've eaten at. Um, it's not... Fascinating, but it's good. So if if you're thinking about trying it, and, you, and you're passing through Lugolf or living in Lugolf, and you, and you want to give uh, the new Asian kitchen a try, it's really not bad. It's actually really good. I mean, on the Chinese food standards, it's really good. So give it a shot. It's cheap. Food's good. It's serviceable. You know, it's not you know Miyabi's or Yamato's. Or anything like that, but for seven bucks you get what you get, and, and it's every bit as good as Tokyo Grill. So, except for the rice, get some fried rice. But for me, it's a win. Feeling like some some Asian food, I'll give it another try. Uh, so, thumbs up for me. Goji Goji Asian Kitchen and the Food Line Shopping Center. Give it a shot. Tigers Big tomorrow. Fifty two seventeen. Interesting to watch that Ohio State game just to see if, if Justin Fields, how he reacts to a, the biggest game of his life. And then Alabama-Auburn, of course, the Iron Bowl, best uh, rivalry in football. So, good day tomorrow. Enjoy it. I'll be back with something tomorrow. I'll go check out something before the game start. Appreciate you watching. Subscribe, that sucker. Like, share, tell your friends about it. Clemson big. Roll Tide Big. Talk to y'all tomorrow.